positions nowadays, so good to see they held him out. Face off win, here comes Krupp looking in front of the cage, turning fire for a goal, Kyle Carcian. Beautifully done just seconds after the face off win to make it 2 0 Raiders. Ryan Dean knew this could be a problem. You lose face offs through Wapplehorst, and that's exactly what happened. Faux go situation right off the set. Good ground ball to get loose from Halbenstock, and then he looks into the backside where Krupp's waiting. Tick, tack, toe. Finish from Carson. Number 15, man, so Harker, Zachariah, Jordan, the second midfield line in right now. Here's Carcian on attack, swoops around, fires from the side, and scores his second in a row. Kyle Carcian makes it 3 0 Ramapo in a game just over four minutes old. You have to get a body on a man as he comes around from X like that, and Carcian knows the second he's untouched, this is a defensive lapse from Riverdale. Again, loose to the defender, very quickly behind the cage, and then boom, top right shelf. O'Connor never has a chance because he goes opposite way. Number 16 for number 14. So this isn't like his maiden voyage or anything in the state tournament, but he's been very good early. Garcia, nice duck under, gets inside and scores top shelf. Kyle Carcian with a little bit of room on that right side comes through for his third goal to start this game and with 14 ticks to go in the first now 4 nothing. They haven't been doing much of a fancy variety early. There's the duck dodge slide under and right over his head. Good look from Carsey in first quarter hat trick. The first time we've seen any true one on one maneuvers. It's been a lot of cutting and passing from Ramapo. He's a workhorse in that he operates from behind the cage, but can also get out in front. Like your guys get one-on-ones, and then they get complacent and let the easy ones slip through. Carcian's got the cutter crop. He waits, he fires, and the hesitation leads to a goal. He's finally on the board. Carcian, and you mentioned the chemistry between those two, knew where Krupp was going to cut, easy goal. There's the lull them wasted X, and then the stick fake by Krupp. This is an elite maneuver. They lull them to sleep, the pass across, good catch from Krupp coming through. Oh, Connor's just beaten. That's a great little stick fake from Krupp. To go here in the first half, 6-3 to three, Ramapo. Carcian dodging, he'll turn the corner. Nothing doing, nice pass far side and put on through by Krupp. Second time those two have connected. Carcian to Krupp here in the second quarter to make it 7-3. to three. And they reverse the side of Walters and he lost goal side because of it. And it's Carcian's work to spin on the defense, come around Dex, know that Krupp's waiting backside. Wow, Walters just couldn't get the long pull across the to X and Krupp. 0 for 2 with the man up so far, Ramapo. They've taken two shots. Here's the cutter, Carcian rips one past Danny O'Connor for his fourth on the day. And they cash in a man up, and they're really showing why that tough schedule has gotten them ready for the postseason. Carcian has scored in so many different fashions today, this time taking a page out of Kevin Barry's playbook from Riverdale, going with the long shot. He takes a low angle instead. There's the dump ball, great catch, and in one motion, low angle, O'Connor never had a chance at it. Carcian with a quad spot. Number eight of them right there. Flinging the ball back and forth. On the run, fired, steered away, regather, and this time Carcian puts it through. What can this kid not do? He's got five today, and it's now 12 to three. 45 seconds to go in the third. Seven point day for Carcian. Turned away the first time. Well, if you don't succeed, try again. Saved by O'Connor off his knee, got it right back, and poor kid's been peppered all day long as Carcian Ends up with five now. Connor, don't worry. Sophomore who's, as you said, faced a lot of pressure, but. Carcian. Up top, gold strap. Bouncing shot found enough room atop the shoulder of O'Connor to squeak on through. A hat trick now for John Goldschrapp. Came in with four on the season. He's got three today. Well, I think if Summit were to advance through, they know the trio that they have to deal with. That being Carsey and Krupp and Goldstrap. This may be not the look he was trying to get. It kind of slips out of his stick, and O'Connor beaten maybe by the knuckling aspect of 14 to 5 victory. Five goals each for Krupp and Carsey. And the number eight seed here at home, winners on this turf.
for the mid year. Ten goals, four assists combined by Krupp and Carsey, and two star players showing up today. Today we're joined by the junior Kyle Carsey in five goals. First quarter hat trick for you. It seemed like you worked from X a little bit, got a couple shots in the point too. Were you trying to mix it up, your results offensively? Yeah, we were just trying to pull their defense around and get them to slide, or if they didn't slide, we took the opportunity, so it was good. We know you and Connor Krupp, the two leading scorers coming in. Kyle Carsey in an eight-point day. Ed, back to you.